Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to look at all the PT templates you need to craft your PT test in the very first course. In this video, I'll give you templates for all the tasks you need templates for. And all these templates are proven. I have personally used these templates to get a perfect 90 in my PT test. There are around five tasks which will require you to use template or where you can use templates and boost your score. The tasks are PT speaking describe image, PT speaking retail lecture, writing summarized written text, writing essay, and listening summarized spoken text. I'll try to keep this video short and to the point so that you get as much as information in the minimum time possible. Let me share my screen. I am going to give you everything. Make sure you take screenshots or save this video, whatever you like to, so that you don't have to watch the video again and again, and you can carry on with your preparations properly. Let's get started. All right. So very first task, which will, where you can use templates, describe image. As you probably know, describe image, you get an image, you have 25 seconds, and then you're given 40 seconds to give your response. This is the template which you can use. The given image gives information about the title, whatever title is there. It is a very beautiful image, and I have to speak for 40 seconds about this image. There are a lot of different elements in the image, which are one, two, and three keywords. I can also see four, five, and six keywords. Then you just say one of the element is maximum and the other one is minimum. To conclude, the image is very informative. For example, if you get this image, the image gives information about economy infographic. It is a very beautiful image and I have to speak for 40 seconds about this image. There are a lot of different elements in the image which are 2015, 2016 and 2017. I can also see production 241 and 432. One of the element is maximum and the other one is minimum. To conclude, the image is informative. This is what you have to do. You can use this template in any image you get. Even if you have an image where there are no keywords, what you can do, let's say you get an image of landscape. Image gives information about landscape. It is a very beautiful image and I have to speak for 40 seconds about this image. There are different elements in the image which are, which are sky, garden and rocks. I can also see top, bottom and left. I can also see blue, green and white. One of the element is maximum and the other one is minimum to conclude the image is informative. So basically describe image. You don't really need to focus on the accuracy of the content. What you need to focus on, you need to focus on the flow and in uh, whatever you speak, you need to speak clearly. Next task where you can use your templates are retail, is retail lecture, the fourth task of the speaking module. What happens here, you get an audio lecture it can be anywhere between 40 to 90 seconds long. Once the audio stops, you have to speak or retell the lecture in your own words and you're given 40 seconds for that. What happens while the audio is going on, you just take down keywords or notes like I have done and then use this template. So one keyword or the main topic was the main topic of the lecture. He told about keyword one, keyword two and keyword three. He also told about keyword four, keyword five and keyword six. He also told about keyword seven, keyword eight and keyword nine. He also told about keyword 10, keyword 11, and keyword 12. He also told about keyword 13, 14, and 15. To conclude, the lecture was informative. Now, let's say you have got these keywords or these notes from the lecture. You start this way. India was the main topic of the lecture. He told about India population and rate of vaccination. He also told about government, sports, and education. He told about Olympics, participation rate, and literacy rate. He told about rate of examination, winners, and runners-up. He told about lockdown, COVID-19, and exam cancellations. To conclude, the lecture was informative. Let's say you only have six keywords. In that case, what you do, India was the main topic of the lecture. He told about India population and rate of vaccination. He also told about government, sports, and education. He also told about sports, education, and rate of vaccination. He also told about population, India, and government. He told about government, population, and rate of vaccination. To conclude, the lecture was very informative. Easy keywords, repeat the same keywords, no issues I have mentioned this in my previous videos but in this video i'm just going to focus on templates follow this template in any retail lecture you get next is your summarized written text part of your writing module you will be given a passage you have to write the summary of the passage between 5 to 75 words ideally around 60 words what you do in this you just need to select three to four sentences from the passage as it is which are important and join them using connectors whatever three to four sentences you have selected. You write the first sentence, add comma, and write the second sentence, which you have selected, add comma, furthermore, comma, third sentence. And then if you are within the word limit, let's say if you have written the third sentence and you are already on 70 words, 
add a full stop here. Don't worry about writing the full sentence. But if you can still add few more um, words or you can add one more sentence, you have that leverage, you have that word limit, add comma, more over comma, and full sentence at the end, add full stop. But make sure you do not exceed 75 words. This is what you have to focus on and follow. This is a proven structure. I won't say a template, but a structure which all of us use. And I've got 90 using the same and many students get 90 using the same. Next, this is an example. I selected the first sentence, um, till humans, then comma and, and then furthermore, comma, furthermore, comma this. And I stopped here because I was already on 70 words. If I would have added another sentence, I would have exceeded the word limit. And if you exceed the word limit, you straight away get zero. Next is your essay. Very important, you follow a template, will make your job easy and templates do work. There's nothing to stress about. I'll give you two templates. Both of the templates are working. Whichever template you find easy, you can follow. First template, topic, whatever topic, has become an integral part of the rising debate in the present world. While proponents are, of the argument are in favor, however, the opponents are completely against the relevance of, again, topic over here. For example, computers, right? In my opinion, computers have more positive has or have you have to change according to singular and plural computers have more positive impacts than negatives around the world to commence with there are a number of arguments in favor of my belief the most prominent one is that add one advantage over here according to the research conducted by western sydney university more than 90 percent people favor computer secondly add another advantage in this paragraph you have to write one disadvantage an example of the same and then add keywords or topic words here. This is an example which I have written on this particular topic. You can take a screenshot that will make it very easy for you to understand. So basically you have to use keywords in the template and add one advantage, second advantage, one disadvantage and that's all. Examples you can make anything by yourself that does not really needs to be factual. Or you can use this template as well, where you don't really need to add any kind of keywords. You just have to add topic from the essay prompt and you'll be fine. Four blanks over here, you have to add essay statement. Over here, few keywords or essay statement. Over here, few keywords or complete essay statement. And over here, essay statement. The rest, you have to just write it as it is. And yes, it works. This might sound illogical, but we recommend all our students to use this, so you shouldn't be worrying about it. There are multiple scenarios. Let's say if you get a short essay topic, in that case, all the four blanks, you can write the whole topic. One, two, um, three, and four. If you get a long essay topic, in that case, in the first place, write the whole essay topic till globe. You don't really need to write the question. Second place, just write a small phrase. Third place, write a small phrase and at the end, again, write the whole essay topic. Why? Because if you'll write the whole essay topic, right, you will exceed the word limit. Let's say if you have got two statements, statement one and statement two, you don't really need to write this question um, thing because there are no keywords. The main aim is that you have to include all keywords from the essay topic. Let's say you get two statements. Television has two roles to inform and to entertain people throughout the globe. It also helps to spread news. Which one is more important? Now you have got two statements and a question. What you have to do, write first statement in the first blank, second statement in the second blank. First statement again and repeat second statement again. You have to blindly follow it. You'll be 100% fine. Last task where you can use um, template is your PT listening summarize spoken text. Easy task. In this, you get an audio lecture. You have to write the summary of the lecture between 50 to 70 words. You are given 10 minutes for one summarized spoken text. This is the marking criteria. You have to take notes while the lecture is going on. These are two templates which you can use any of you can use any of the two templates I'm providing you. Template one, template two. The main focus of the lecture was topic. This is an optional statement. If you have less keywords, you can write this. A number of advantages, or you can write disadvantages of the topic were discussed, or you can straight away jump here. The first crucial aspect revealed in the discourse was first phrase. Furthermore, another significant point mentioned in the lecture was another phrase. Additionally, the lecture also exhibited important information about another phrase. In conclusion, the lecture also suggested another phrase over here. 
or you can simply start. The lecture was about topic, whatever keyword was there and several points were mentioned. The first point discussed was about first phrase. Secondly, he mentioned about second phrase. Another fact mentioned was another phrase. Overall, the lecture suggested another phrase. I'll give you an example, right? So you don't have to just write one word here. You can write a short phrase. The main focus of the lecture was the increasing population in India. The first crucial aspect revealed in the discourse was illiteracy, which is the reason behind overpopulation. Furthermore, another significant point mentioned in the lecture was another phrase. Additionally, the lecture also exhibited important information about the role of education in schools. In conclusion, the lecture suggested that strict measures must be taken at the least. You can take a screenshot of this. It will help you while you're preparing. All right. Now, what is the main aim of this video is to make sure you have all the templates in one place and you can utilize these templates. If I, you know, um, if someone was training me for PT and he would have given me these templates, thought it twice that are these even going to, going to work? Some things don't even make sense. But trust me, having taught more than 20,000 students now, and scoring 19 PT 10 times. This is what I researched and this is something which is gold. This is literally gold. You need to use it properly. Now remember this thing. It's not that you shouldn't be expecting that. I've given you template. Now you'll straight away get 90. Um, a student using the same template will get 90. Another student will even get 50. Why? Because it's not just the template which will give you the score. It's more about using the template. For example, in essay or in summarized spoken text, while using the template, if you make 20 spelling mistakes, you're not going to get the scores. So templates are going to help you, but are not straight away going to get you the scores. In describe image, for example, when you add keywords, if you're not speaking clearly, or the template words, if you're not pronouncing clearly, you're not going to get the scores. I want to be very honest and transparent, but yes, if you follow the way I've told you, you follow the marking criteria and everything, 100%, these are going to boost your scores. That's it from this video. I hope I've given you what you need to boost your scores and make sure it's not just the templates which are going to get you the scores. It's more about how you have to use the templates properly. Take the screenshot, use this, make sure you focus on other areas as well. I'll just give you one example. Many students use these templates in writing and then tell me that they are getting less scores in writing. For that, you need to understand the marking criteria. Writing, majority of the scores are from write from dictation, reading and writing blanks, listening fill in the blanks. Now, if you are doing essays perfectly, summarize written text perfectly, summarize spoken text perfectly, but you're messing up your reading and writing blanks, you're messing up your write from dictations, you're messing up your listening fill in the blanks, you're not going to get scores in writing because majority of your scores are from other tasks as well. So these templates are going to give you points in these tasks only, but along with these, you have to focus on other areas, other tasks where you have to practice, but you cannot use any template. These templates are surely going to help you, but I just gave you a disclaimer so that you, it's very clear for you what you have to do. I hope this makes sense. If the video was helpful, do like, share and subscribe. If you want me to make any more videos, any topic you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section. We have our branches in Australia and India, and we do provide online classes all over the world. If you need any help, let us know. To practice, you can go on languageacademy.com.au or download LAPT exam practice app. Download the app practice see how what you what scores you're getting um if the template is working what mistakes you're making and how to improve the same one from language get me here to help you my only aim is to make sure you get your desired scores and if you ever get your desired scores watching my videos do let me know that is something which will keep me going on and at last if you want me to analyze your scorecards send me your last scorecards your desired score and number of times you've taken the test on my email my email is varun at languageacademy.com.au so it's v-a-r-u-n at l-a-n-g-u-a-g-e-a-c-a-d-e-m-y.com.au that's it i'll see you very soon till then take care and stay safe